know God and His Word. So there's something for all of us here. But you precious young people, I beg of you to listen carefully. Like a father to, the, to his children, his sons and daughters, I want to beg you to fall in love with this book. There are great uh, rewards that are available to you. Uh, number one, you and the law of, God, of the Lord. You and the law of the Lord. Proverbs 3, 1 through 4. Notice the requirements. How do you develop this plur- personal relationship with the Lord that's life-changing with the Lord's Word? Number one, he says, forget not my law. Number one, do not forget it. These are the requirements. Don't forget it. Now, I talked to you greater length about this last time, which was several weeks ago, and you wouldn't even know that unless I just told you. I understand how it goes. <laughs> but I'm not going to belabor the point. But you've got to keep this book fresh in front of you. Uh, some of us have read it once. Some of us have read it twice. Some three times, five and ten. Some have read it over and over again and uh, read in it and of it and through it uh, for, uh, each and every day of your life and have, uh, in many cases, uh, Dr. Bora, I mean, since no one in the ark has been reading and studying the Bible. And, but you know, he can get up this morning and God can give him something fresh and new out of his word. No, it's not new in the sense of new under the sun. There's nothing new under the sun. But it's new to him and it's fresh to him. And it's exactly what his heavenly father had for him today. We've got to, not, we've got to keep this book in front of us. We're not to forget what God's word has to say. Uh, someone was uh, uh, stepped through the doors of our church just recently and came back after being gone for many, many years, and are, are coming back to the Lord and to live for the Lord. And uh, they, they said, uh, uh, in a little note to me recently, they said, Preacher, when I listen to you preach, uh, and you begin to quote a scripture,